Battleground Syria, how Israeli fighter jets laid a bear trap for Russian MiG-21S and shot down half a dozen aircraft. According to Russian news agency TASS, Rear Admiral Vadim Kulit, deputy chief of the Russian Center for Reconciliation of the Opposing Parties in Syria, claimed that Russian missile defense systems brought down seven of eight Israeli missiles launched at sites near Aleppo on July 19. It is believed Russia is supplying Syrian forces with more advanced anti-missile systems in a bid to help them counter Israeli raids. Half a century ago, the US and the erstwhile Soviet Union were locked in an ideological battle over the expanding influence of capitalism and communism. The three-year period between 1967 and 1970 saw Israel at the receiving end of Egyptian artillery barges and special forces raids along the strategic Suez Canal. The Jewish nation had realized that it would need to fight its wars by other means. The Israeli Air Force had just received the US-made F-4 Phantoms and the Israeli Strategic Dispensation felt that they could be deployed to carry out airstrikes deep inside a hostile Egypt's territorial boundaries. Offensive air operation soon commenced and while the Israeli flying aces were successful in downing a significant number of the Egyptian military aircraft, the Soviet SA-2 and SA-4 batteries intercepted and brought down numerous Israeli fighter jets. This threatened Israeli air ops along the Suez Canal. The Soviet SAMs proved to be a thorn in Israeli operations, however, it was only the beginning of the Jewish nation's problems. Soon, the Soviets began to deploy MiG-21 fighters carrying out defensive air patrols over its client state, Egypt. As is the case today in Syria, the Soviets and the Israelis were cautious as to not engage directly with one another, however eventually over the course of aerial operations, the Soviets began intercepting Israeli airstrikes. <laughs>